Good afternoon and thanks for having us in. The Garrison School District is welcoming some new additions to its bus fleet. Three electric school buses arrived this morning. The buses were funded through the federal government's Clean School Bus Program. Six districts across South Dakota received $3.6 million to purchase the buses and install charging stations. Coming up tonight on Calland News, we'll take a closer look at the electric buses and how they'll benefit the district. A Sioux Falls Jefferson High School teacher has been named the 2024 South Dakota Teacher of the Year. George Hawkins teaches various social studies classes at the high school. This fall marked his 12th year as a teacher. Hawkins will receive a $5,000 grant from the West River Foundation to use as he wishes and a $2,000 honorarium from the Board of Regents to produce professional development seminars. Coming up later tonight on Kelloland News, we're going to sit down with Hawkins to talk about his award. The opening round of the richest rodeo in South Dakota history is now in the books. The Cinch Playoffs opened its three-night stay at the Premier Center in Sioux Falls. The rodeo athletes are competing for more than $1 million in prize money and a spot in the National Finals Rodeo and received a warm welcome from the fans in the stands. The fans in South Dakota are so awesome. I mean, rodeo is your state sport. So, you know, that's what's so cool to come here. The fans understand rodeo. They appreciate rodeo. Um, they understand all the things that the cowboy represents. Um, and so to bring this event, there was only one state that could host an event like this, and it's South Dakota. The cinch playoffs continue tonight and wrap up tomorrow at the Premier Center in Sioux Falls. The event starts at 730 nightly. We have some notable, possibly record-breaking heat on the horizon. Let's check in with our friend Megan, who has the details. We do have some near-record temperatures coming for this weekend. We're actually watching some rain right now, and that will quickly move out of our area. Right now, 72 degrees in Sioux Falls. South winds are at 14 miles an hour, and the rain is just to the west of town. And in Watertown, we have had some rain and thunderstorms right now. Those clouds are starting to break apart just a little bit. 64 degrees with hardly any wind. There's the thicker cloud cover in eastern Kelloland, and under those clouds, the rain is moving through. Nothing is severe. It is producing some lightning and could be some heavy rain. So in northeastern Kelloland, just to the south of Watertown now and to the south of Huron, all moving to the northeast. If we move into southeastern Kelloland, between Huron and Brookings, down towards Mitchell, is that band of rain and thunderstorms. That will continue moving to the northeast as we go through the rest of your afternoon. Right now, 76 in Yankton, 68 in Brookings, 62 in Sisseton, 68 in Mowbridge and Phillip, and 57 degrees in Custer. There is still a chance some of those storms could become severe as we go through the afternoon, mainly along and east of Interstate 29. Hail and strong winds are going to be the main threats if those do become severe. So for the rest of the of today with partly cloudy skies once those rain and thunderstorms move out 87 the high in sioux falls 75 in aberdeen 74 in pier and 69 in rapid city then tonight our lows are going to drop into the 50s to low 60s all with partly cloudy skies 80s to near 90 return for tomorrow and again on sunday even monday could be warm we'll take a closer look in just a little bit Thank you, Megan. South Dakota Attorney General Marty Jackley is asking the parent company of Pornhub to close a loophole that could jeopardize children. Jackley says an employee of the company admitted the website does not have a way to confirm who is uploading content to Pornhub, which could include illegal content of children or victims of sex trafficking. He joins 25 other attorneys general in a letter saying that federal and state laws forbid the creation and distribution of child sexual abuse material and the company needs to change its verification policies. On Capitol Hill, lawmakers paused from their work to remember Senator Dianne Feinstein. California Democrat was 90 and even her political rivals agree she was a trailblazer. Erica Brown has reaction from Washington. I ask that the Senate observe a moment of silence in honor of Senator Dianne Feinstein. The Senate came into session just hours after the news of the death of Dianne Feinstein. Her desk draped in black as colleagues remembered the California Democrat as a political force and friend. Senator Dianne Feinstein was one of the most amazing people who ever graced the Senate, who ever graced the country. Dianne? was a trailblazer 
in her beloved home state of California, and our entire nation are better for her dogged advocacy and diligent service. She was my friend and... Tributes poured in from both sides of the aisle. North Carolina Republican Tom Tillis calling her a trailblazer who lived an incredible life. And Florida's Marco Rubio nodding to a historic career of public service. She cared about her country. She cared about her state. She cared about doing a job no matter how tough it is for the future of America. And she did it with dignity and respect every single day minute. Senator Feinstein served in the Senate longer than any woman in American history. She fought hard for a range of liberal priorities, but also had a reputation for finding middle ground with those who disagreed. She went out. President Biden worked side by side with the California Democrat for years. She was a historic figure, trailblazer for women and a great friend. In declining health, Feinstein had already said this would be her last term in office. She died at her home here in Washington, where the flags are at half staff in tribute to a true pioneer. Erica Brown, CBS News, Washington. Students interested in being legislative pages for the 2024 legislative session in Pierre only have a few days left to submit their applications. The Legislative Research Council says the preferred application deadline is October 6th, with a final deadline of October 20th. To apply, the student must be a high school junior or senior, have signed sponsorship approval by a current legislator, have written permission from their school, and submit a completed application and cover letter. The 99th South Dakota Legislative Session runs from January 9th of 2024 to March 25th of 2024 with a recess from March 11th to 24th.